What's going on guys? Awesome Joey here and today we are going to be checking out the G502 mouse Proteus Spectrum Edition from Logitech. Pretty awesome piece of machinery here. I have already used the mouse quite a bit so uh, I've had some experience with it. can give you guys my personal takeaways and stuff but aside from that I'd just like to check it out and uh, give you guys some specs and stuff. Whoops, I'm breaking stuff. Okay, rip. Okay, cool deal. I freed it from its cage. Uh, first things first, I'd like to give a shout out to the wonderful people at Epic Games. Uh, they invited me out to play the alpha version of their game Paragon, which was super fun. And uh, that's actually where I had picked up this mouse from. So as you can see, it's got a sweet finish. It's not the it's not the usual finish that the mouse is usually uh, straight black. But uh, this has a little Paragon logo and stuff like that. Really, really cool finish though. I like it. It's like bronzy. Feels good. Uh, first impression of this mouse when I when I took it out, I noticed. Um, it was the first mouse that I've used in a while that has a thumb shelf. So as you can see here on the side, it's actually got a little shelf that bumps out. And uh, I'm, I'm used to usually having my thumb just drag on the surface of uh, like my mouse mat or whatever. I'm kind of used to that, that feeling, the friction. And so it was a little interesting at first uh, when I put my hand on it. My hand size, I can palm a basketball, so decently sized hand and it, it seems to fit pretty well. Uh, fingers aren't really going over the edges or anything. I can also curl up or lay straight and it works just fine. So it, uh, it felt good. Right off the bat, just putting my hand on the mouse, felt good, looked good. Um, I was really, really, really interested in the customizable features on this mouse. Just, I've, I've always liked to mod things and, and change things around. So it was really cool to have a mouse that gave some options um, in weight, I should say. Uh, so at the bottom here of this mouse, you can pop open the shelf. Boop. And then you get into the guts the guts and then included inside of the box with your mouse is this thing the G502's little weight cartridge so pop that open ooh shiny as you can see there are five weights all 3.6 grams a piece that you can actually you just pop them out and add them to the bottom of the mouse you can put them wherever you want you can put them towards the front of the mouse towards the back of the mouse um, bunch of different combinations and patterns and stuff so we'll just throw a couple in there so you guys can see what it looks like so this is what it looks like with two at the bottom so it'll make it a little bit heavier in your palm when you're using it so a little bit more stable I guess if you want that that way you can still move the front of your mouse if you're if you're more of like a wrist player and any kind of FPS or something like that and you want to like kind of flick with the front keep your your base heavier um, or you can just add all of the weights which is another option now some people like heavier mice some people like Lighter mice, it completely depends. It depends on, on what kind of sensitivity you play at, um, what kind of games you're playing, if you're playing you know, MOBAs, RTS games, anything like that. All right, so that's what it looks like when it is fully loaded. That is with all five weights inserted. To put the back plate back on, you're just gonna take it, slide it into the side, push it in. There you go, there you have it. So with all the weights in there, the mouse is definitely a lot heavier. Uh, it, it extremely noticeable. Um, if you play with a higher sensitivity, it may help to not overshoot things in, in FPS games and stuff like that. Uh, it gives you a lot of options though, and I love it. Like I said, I love customizing and the fact that you can do that is pretty awesome. So this mouse is super customizable. Uh, you've got the weights, you've got 11 buttons that are all programmable. Uh, you can do whatever you want with the mouse. You've got two side buttons here, you've got a switch right here that you can easily, uh, if you're like wanting to snipe at a different sensitivity than you're gunning or anything like that, you can like swap it there, uh, just like an on the fly adjustment. These two buttons along the side right here, I believe they come pre-programmed to be uh, sensitivity buttons. So you can go between up to five sensitivity profiles uh, with the click of those buttons, or you can switch those to anything else you want. If you're playing a game that you wanna use them for your comms or anything like that, you can easily do that and assign them differently. One really cool thing about the left and right click of this mouse is that I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear it very well, but uh, they're they're extremely crisp. They're extremely crisp, I noticed that. And what's really cool about this mouse is instead of using a, they have, a lot of mice use mono plates. They use like a single plate that goes across the front of the mouse. And then when you push down on the left or right click, it just kind of bends it down and then clicks in like that. And those wear out 
a lot faster over time and they're also not as precise. But what's really cool about this mouse and what Logitech has done is every single one of the buttons is its own micro mechanical button, just like in a mechanical keyboard. So these clicks, as well as these clicks on the side, every single button gives you that mechanical click feature, which is really, really awesome. Another really cool thing is on the side, there's a thumb button right here that you could change a lot of times, like if I want a different sensitivity for when I'm sniping as opposed to rifling or something like that in Counter-Strike or any game, you can just pop that button and have different sensitivity pop it back. Or you can program it to whatever you want it to be inside Logitech settings. Um, you can download the uh, software for it and it's really, really easy to use. You can modify everything from that to the colors. Uh, this is the Proteus Spectrum, which is, so it's the same G502 mouse, but it's a Spectrum edition. So you can change the colors up to 16.8 million color variety. So pretty much any color you wanna make this mouse, uh, you can change with your profile. Pretty awesome. Um, at the top here, you've got two buttons in between your left and right click. And what this, this one's, this one's general programmable button, but just above that, it's actually a scroll wheel lock and unlock. And what I mean by that is, if you can hear as I scroll this, you can hear, you can hear how it's got those, you know, it, it's running into something there. But then if you want, you can actually unlock the scroll wheel so you could scroll extremely fast. Say you're going through a, a, a document that is 100 pages and you just wanna whip through and you don't wanna like, have to click and drag the bar on the side or something like that, you can click this button here at the top and it unlocks the scroll wheel. And so it literally spins with no clickage. And then if you want, you just click that button one more time and you're back to having your scroll wheel. So it's really, really awesome. I just think that's another really cool feature that they added to the mouse and uh, they're doing a good job. It's nice stuff. Okay, let's talk about the tuning of this mouse. You can actually change in the settings what kind of surface you're using it on to get the best tracking response. Uh, it's really, really cool how it works. So a lot of people have different mouse mats. Some people have soft mouse mats, hard mouse mats, some bright mouse mats, dark ones. It doesn't matter what you're using, you're gonna be able to change the setting to match the mouse mat that you're using to give you the best tracking response, which is, in my opinion, it's really, really cool because I don't want any kind of skipping. I don't want to move it around and, ha and you know, you see like the mouse like have a jitter or anything like that. So just having that smooth response, really crisp, means a lot to me and probably most of you guys as well. So this mouse utilizes Logitech's exclusive Delta Zero technology. What that does is let you use this mouse with zero sensor acceleration, zero smoothing, zero filtering, zero pixel rounding. The mouse is perfect when it comes to tracking performance and responsiveness. Another thing is this mouse has a DPI range that goes down to as low as 200 and as high as 12,000, which is absolutely ridiculous. It can also accurately track up to 300 inches per second of movement, which is pretty amazing in my opinion. I've used this mouse personally to play Overwatch. I've played Counter-Strike with it. I have played MOBAs. I've played League of Legends, Dota. I've used this mouse quite a bit and I can tell you, I have no complaints right now. It fits my hand very well. The weights feel really, really good. Makes the mouse feel stable. The responsiveness, the tracking, everything is flawless. I really have no complaints. I think it's an amazing piece of machinery. I really like what they did with the G502, the colors, the customizability, all that stuff. I mean, attention to detail. It's got a sweet braided cable. that feels really, really durable. Honestly, I, I'd, I'd give this mouse Probably five out of five on build. There's nothing that I don't really like about it. Um, the only thing that I could say wouldn't be for me as much is the thumb shelf. But again, I don't think I can knock anything off of the mouse for, for something like that when it actually does feel comfortable. It's just not something that I am used to necessarily. So that being said, I'd give this thing a five out of five if you're looking for an upgrade for a mouse. Anything that you play from FPS to MOBAs to whatever, it feels good. The clicks are really, really sharp on it. Feels great, I have no complaints, and I think Logitech did a great job with this one. Can't wait to see what else they come out with. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any comments, let me know in the section below, as well as don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. See you in the next video.